Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. I've managed to get my film back repaired uh, on my camera. I don't know if you saw my last video. I had a problem with my film back and it stopped me uh, advancing the film. I basically, well I say repaired, I basically just took it apart and uh, gave it a good old clean and put it back together. And it seems to be working okay at the moment um, when I test it in the house. So I've come out today to, to give it a test out on location. Uh, just super keen to get out really. It's been, it's been a good two and a half weeks since I've been out. So I'm yeah, just excited to get back out and uh, try and get some images today. I'm heading over to uh, a beach called Rivian on the north coast of Cornwall. Uh, lovely place. It's got a lovely lighthouse there, Kadruvi Lighthouse. And yeah, just trying to get some nice images over there today. Weather-wise, um, it's currently drizzling and overcast. <laughs> so yeah, conditions aren't great at the moment, but um, I, just, I just wanted to get out. I'm super bored at home and I, I, I wanted to get out. Know, put, get video together and get some images. Um, I'm just going on the hope that there'll be some brighter conditions later. So hope to get some break, some break in the clouds, some nice light. Um, but if, even if it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I, I just, like I say, I just wanted to get out today. So I've made it down to Grivian. Uh, conditions are very overcast at the moment, which isn't great. But like I said, I'm just keen to try out this film back to see if it's working. I've set the camera up looking over towards Grivian, uh, the light towards the lighthouse there, Gadrivi Lighthouse, uh, including the beach and a lot of these grasses in the foreground. Uh, I've stuck on a red filter to try and help with the contrast as it's quite a flat scene. Uh, I'm just really interested to see if this film back works. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take the photo and we'll let you know if that film back winds on. So I'm at f11 and it's 1 30th of a second. Let's give it a go. Success! <laughs> it's working! <laughs> Woohoo! Fingers crossed it stays working, it's all good. So I've actually just set up my second image here, just a bit further down the track from the last image. Um, again, it's looking out towards Gadrivi Lighthouse there. I like the way the grasses are coming in from the corner of the image and going to a point leading you out towards the lighthouse in a the distance there. I'm sticking with a red filter uh, because of the contrast and also a, a graduated filter for a bit more definition in that sky. Uh, settings wise, again, I'm at f11 and it's 1 30th of a second. So we're going to take this one and fingers crossed that film backs are going to keep working. I'm feeling pretty positive about it at the moment. So I'm going to grab this one. So I've set up my third image here. It's, um, it's actually facing the other direction. I really like the sky at the moment. It's quite sort of moody. There's a bit of light coming through to give nice definition. Um, yeah, not much in the way of subjects for me to photograph. I've actually chosen a uh, public toilets of all things uh, as a focal point there in the distance. Uh, I'm using this path that cuts through the grasses to give you a bit of a lead in line towards that public toilets. And hopefully with a nice moody sky there, uh, lighting's flat, but um, I've, I've stuck on the red filter again. That might help with contrast. So I'm still facing the same way as the previous image. Uh, still liking the sky at the moment. Uh, it's got a bit of atmosphere in the sky. Uh, a bit of light coming through every now and then, but not a huge amount. Uh, looking towards the lifeguard hut there. Just quite a nice scene, I think, with the uh, grasses in the foreground. A little bit of the beach included, uh, the lifeguard hut on the cliff there, and the sea and the sky in the background. So I'm going to grab this one, uh, just waiting for a bit of light to poke through to make the image a bit more interesting. 
Uh, settings wise, I'm at f11 and that's 130 for a second again. And once again, I'm using the red filter and the free stop graduated filter. So we're gonna grab this shot here. It's amazing how busy it is today at the beach considering it's so overcast. It really is quite busy today. Um, I suppose it's school holidays, but uh, yeah, uh, I'm not very good with all these people. <laughs> filming with all these people, I really struggle. You set the camera up and you, you try to do a bit of filming and then before you know it, someone's right next to you. And I find it, I find it hard with people around. I need my uh, space really, if I'm honest. But I'm doing the best I can, but yeah, no, it's all good. So we're gonna grab this image here. So I've set the camera up here, really beautiful plant here. I think it's a sea thistle, or it must be related to the thistle family. It's um, very similar, really beautiful. I love the details on the leaves, lovely, lovely patterns on the leaves there. I think it'll look really nice in black and white. Uh, I've decided to take the filters off, so I'm just choosing it as standard. And uh, it's given me an exposure time of 1 30 per second at f16. I've also put on my 110 mm lens, uh, and it's letting me focus quite closely actually, which is really good. Uh, yeah, I think I might make quite a nice image this one in black and white. Uh, the lighting conditions are perfect for this sort of photography. Probably uh, better than for landscape photography. Uh, the close-ups are going to work quite well, I imagine. So I'm going to grab this one. I quite like the scene here. It's um, all about the textures, really, this one. Got lots of grasses and thistles in the foreground there, with the old rusty metal pole sticking out the ground there. And also in the background, we've got more grasses swaying around. Um, with a sky that's not too bad in the distance, uh, there's a bit of de definition there, so hopefully that'll come out nicely. Uh, I've stuck on the red filter again to give me that extra contrast. And uh, th it's probably going to be a little bit of movement because um, I've stopped right down to F22. We've got a shutter speed of one fourth of a second. So there might be a little bit of movement in the grasses. But I don't mind that anyway, that kind of adds to the image. So I've come down to the beach. As the tide's going out, it's leaving all this lovely water on the uh, sand here. It gets some lovely reflections. And also there's a lovely sky over that way now. So I'm hoping to get a couple of images down here. Um, I've stuck on a graduated filter to hold the sky down. But um, yeah, I think it'd be a really nice image. I, I was hoping someone would perhaps walk in the foreground with a surfboard or something to make it a bit more interesting. So I'm gonna hang around a while and see what I can find. But yeah, I look, I look pretty excited for this one.